Okay guys and girls, small introduction, our th new three bucket uh, wash uh, kit and essentially we've got one for washing, one for rinsing and one for the dirtiest job on the car, cleaning your wheels. Now wash bucket of course we use with our washing suds, we'll get our three different types that we can actually use, auto body gel, the wax wash or today we're going to use the Nanalicious which is my favourite wash. Um, and then we have the rinse bucket, it's going to be clean water and essentially when we're going to wash the car you have your wash bucket, you can put it onto the car, then you actually go back into the rinse bucket, um, clean it off, and that way when you go back to your wash bucket, all the dirt and gunk comes off into the rinse bucket, you're not getting your wash water dirty. It's so simple and easy. We've also got, la da da, grit guards in there as well in each of the buckets. And in the rinse bucket, I actually use two. And the reason being is just when you actually get in there and you plunge it in, all the dirt, a lot of dirt and that can actually get back up and into it. But you put in two and it dramatically reduces the chance of that ever happening. So we'll fill up these buckets with the wash, get into it and uh, show you a quick little thing on the technique. Cheers. Your wheels are usually the dirtiest part of the car with brake dust, heavy oils and grime covering their surface. This is the type of gear you really don't want to be getting under your paint washing tools. We like to clean the wheels first with our dedicated wheels bucket filled with water and a stronger double solution of our car wash. If you are detailing without the use of a pressure washer like we are today, spray in our orange agent pH balance all purpose cleaner to start breaking down the grind and help give a more thorough clean. Fill your brush with suds from the wheels bucket and then begin cleaning the wheel from the very top, making sure to get right in and remove the grime from the inner barrels as well. Then rinse the grime free from the brush and the rinse bucket before going back into your wheel suds and continuing to clean. This simple method will keep your wheel bucket suds fresher, helping you get a more effective clean. Continue using this process with each different brush till the entire wheel is done, then rinse it down with fresh water. While you're at it, use a long-handled brush to clean under the guards with this same two-bucket method before moving on to the next wheel. After the wheels are done, clean off the carbon and grime around your exhaust by unceremoniously popping the brush right up the exhaust, then cleaning all around the exterior of them as well. Once you're all done with the wheels, thoroughly clean both the rinse bucket and its grit guard out with fresh water and then wipe them both dry with a microfiber cloth. Making sure you have the grit guard fitted, half fill your wash bucket with fresh water and add one cap full of our lubricating wash before filling it up with a nice jet of water. Then fill up the cleaned out rinse bucket with two grit guards in it as well. The GT4 here today has a very light layer of dust on it, which the majority of it can be rinsed away with a strong jet of water from our hose. Work from the top to the bottom, paying extra attention to the dirtier lower sections and the rear of the car. It's time to start the washing. Drown your favourite microfiber washing tool in the wash suds bucket, taking as much suds as you can to begin washing from the top of the car. I'm using the Shagtastic wash pad here, by far my favourite due to the large amount of suds it can hold, allowing me to wash faster and further all over the car. Once you're out of suds, go back to the rinse bucket to give it a good thrash and release any dirt and grime from it before returning to the wash suds bucket and continuing your washing. This simple system will keep your wash water clean as well as reduce the chance of creating any swirl or micro scratches as you clean your car. Continue working your way around the car, doing the lower panels and then the very back of the car last. On these low on rear panels, release heaps of suds on them to further minimise the chance of getting marks from any grit or grime. Our Love Glove wash mitt is ideal to clean the tighter and intricate parts around your car. Use the same two bucket method, rinsing it clean after doing each section of the car. As you continue washing, you'll begin to notice that the wash and rinse bucket's water will begin to look very similar. This is why we made them these colours with large visual labels, so us dopey blokes could never mix them up. When you've completed the car, remove the hose end and rinse the wash suds away with a steady stream of water. This reduces the amount of water left sitting on its panels and will further help speed up your drying time. Another important part of our safe wash system is the Big Green Sucker drying towel. Use it by misting both sides with the Boss Gloss Detailing Spray as it works as a lubricant and a drying aid. With its thick 1000 GSM blend of super soft and absorbent microfiber, it can hold a serious amount of water in its fibres. Its plush material also means if you come across a dirty section you missed while washing, it won't push that grime back hard into the surface, helping prevent micro scratches. Our safe wash system has been made for people like me, enthusiasts who really love and truly want to care for their cars. These new Aussie made buckets are a great addition to our range and I do hope you enjoy using them with the rest of our Australian car care products. Thanks for watching, it's now time to go for a drive.